Hello everyone, welcome again to another video here on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time we talk about live photos and how do you convert live photos to just photos, so like regular type. Now, if I open up the camera, you can see I have live photos disabled, but let's just enable it right now. Snap a picture like this and I just moved it a little bit. When I go to the photos app, it does move because it's a live photo. To switch it back to a regular picture, all I can do is click on this little indicator in the upper left corner and I turn off the live capabilities. When I go like this, the photo is still, I can hold down on it, nothing really happens. And yeah, you can still switch it back if you want to, there is the option to, but the photo is by default actual regular photo. But you may be curious about which part of the picture is going to be chosen as the default picture because it's a it's a live photo so it captures the whole moment with some movements but you can edit it as well. Because if you go and uh, click on that, click on the edit button in the lower portion, at the bottom you have the cancel button, you have the uh, live photo which is something we want to click on and the other options are like the cropping filters and adjustments. So click on the live thing and the live photo is disabled, so I'm going to turn it on in the uh, with the button at the top. I can disable the sound if I want to, but what I can do is to choose the key photo, because in the slider at the bottom, you can, of course, make it shorter, longer. It's like editing an actual video, because you can make it go like this, but you have a little dot right there, and this is for the key photo. So if I grab the rectangle and make it like this, I can choose any of the images in here to be the, the the default key picture. So let's say I want to keep it this way. I'm going to make it key photo like this. And now when I save it, the photo looks like this. And even if I turn off the live photo, it's going to stay exactly as it is. So I can even switch the live photo and make it still, make it regular photo, convert it to something normal, but also decide which part of that live sequence is going to be representing the, the entire thing, which is going to be the saved photo. So this is how you can actually convert the photo to, to regular picture. But for the future, I would recommend you to turn it off entirely, which is going to be something I'm going to show you right after I present to you my Foxtech educational platform, which you can join for free. It's linked down below in the description. And inside you're going to be able to find at the, uh, in the classroom section, free video editing course, all apps explained course, and more stuff is coming. So make sure to join it for free. It's linked down below in the description. Anyways, if you want to make sure that you don't have any more live photos in the future, of course, you need to open up the camera and disable it. But it can happen that even though you turn it off, you may come back to the camera app in the future and the live photos will be turned back on, which can be a little bit annoying. In this case, what you have to do is to open up the settings and in the settings, make sure to find the camera section. So click on a camera like this and find the preserve settings button. So click on preserve settings and at the bottom you have the live photo. And for this, you need to have it turned on. You want to just make sure that the preserving is happening or is being applied to live photos as well. In this case, when you turn off the live photos, no matter what you do, you come back to the camera again and it will always be turned off. You want to keep it that way. So that's the important part. But besides that, I think that you should now all have all the things you need to know about. So I'm going to wrap up the video right now. If you found it useful, leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below to the Fox Tech YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video.